We now have a reading from uh, each of the books nominated for the Trillium Book Award for Poetry and the Trillium Book Award for Children's Literature. Up next are the authors who are nominated in the traditional Trillium Book Award Prix Trillium. Now to start out this group, we will hear from Tamara Faith Berger, reading from her novel Maidenhead, which is published by Coach House Books. Richly layered, the short novel is a tour de force meditation on class, race, and budding consciousness. Tamara. Thank you. Um, I'm going to read from the beginning of Maidenhead, um, a man and a girl have met on the beach. The guy laid the little clay animal on the crease between my thighs. My ankles twisted around each other. It's called an ocarina, he said. It's got sacred sound. You put it at your mouth and blow. OK, try it. The ocarina was warm. I tried to give it back. But the guy put his hand on my hand led it to my mouth. Everyone can play music, he said. Then he sat there watching me decide if I was going to blow. I felt my scalp sweat. Go ahead, go. The guy was stroking the sand with his fingers, raking it, making it deeper and dark. My lower jaw moved around a little. The mouthpiece smelled like caramel. I finally put it in and tried to blow a bit. My first sound was like a twig being snapped. I tried to blow differently, harder, but it was nothing like when the guy had played it. I couldn't make my sounds sound right. There was a sudden cramp in my gut and I stopped. I told you I wouldn't be able to play anything, I said. You weren't bad at all. You have to give a first try, right? When I handed the ocarina back, my fingers touched his again. The guy held me there for a second. His tongue licked his lips. I looked down. I felt a smile in the middle of my throat. Is this how you really meet a guy? Then, I think because I had to go to the bathroom so badly, I flopped down on the sand on my back, pretending that I was getting some sun. I knew he was watching me, waiting for something. I put my arm over my eyes. I felt him stare in my bathing suit holes. My armpit was a little nude crease that was opening. The sounds you made were sweet, the guy said. You're just a little bit shy. You're a shy girl, it's okay. The sounds I made were not sweet, I knew that. Come now for a walk, the guy said. This guy maybe thought that I wasn't with my family on a family vacation. Maybe he thought that I was a college kid, that I was more than 16. I never thought I was shy, a shy girl. It was like he was waiting for me to say yes, to say yes as if I knew what I wanted. I understand. It's OK, the guy said. I should leave you be. But he still didn't get up, even after he said that. He started pushing his finger towards me through the sand. I felt like I wanted to laugh, but I was squinting and licking my lips continually. Come, yes? I was thinking. Girls get scared way too often. Girls get stupidly scared. I was not scared. Telling myself not to be scared kind of worked. I stood up at the same time as the guy. My stomach was bloated. I was holding it in. The guy had his walking stick in one hand and he covered his bathing suit strings with the other. The ocarina bulged in his back bathing suit pocket. I held tightly onto my book. This man likes me, and my family knows nothing about it. Thank you.